Happy Halloween Eve, you guys. Is it Halloween Eve? It is. See, I ain't even paying attention. <laughs> By the time y'all see this, Halloween will be over for you guys. But So what, is Halloween tomorrow? Tomorrow. Saturday? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm already ready. I'm she, she, got her, my shirt. she got her Booyah, leggings on. My pumpkin sugar school she got face her leggings. leggings. <laughs> And my sugar school. We're going to go to the truck stop and knock on all the trucks and see if we can get some candy. Trick or treat. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Might get shot. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We are in Texas. We, we are. made it. Man, yep, we yep. knocked out like half last, half yesterday. Oh, more than half. Yeah. More than half because it was 1,550 miles when we left out. Yeah. And we were 670 miles this morning, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, we knocked out some miles yesterday. We've been getting it too. Yeah, we're only fuel mileage. At, well, well, I think it was like 9.51. We've been running <laughs> 75 <laughs> ever since we hit the Arizona border. Yeah, yeah, we've been getting it, trying to get home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're only like 300 miles away now, I think. Not far. No, not far at all. No, Jason's been driving today. I'm gonna take drove... over so he can chill for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I need a little bit of relaxing. These people today are driving me berserk. <laughs> you know, I'll say this is the one thing I hate about driving fast uh -huh. is all the, like the slower people are always getting in front of you. Like they're always hogging up the, the left lane, going up hills, go, passing. And so, and, and I mean, hey, it's not my highway. It's all of ours, right? But it, it, it gets really annoying because you're getting it and then you have to hit the brakes and slow down to 65 and then wait for this guy to putt along and pass the other person or, <laughs> you know, and then you get it again and it's like over and over and over. That's one of the best <laughs> things I love about my 62 miles an hour. Yeah, I think it is a little more stressful when you're driving faster just because yeah you have to deal with a lot more of that kind of thing right when we're doing 62 63 we just stay in the right lane and just go our little 62 63 and people pass us up they're and gone and we don't have very little interaction with other traffic and yeah when we're driving faster like you get more in groups or clusters of cars and trucks you and do you do yeah that, yeah when you're 62 no, you're all by yourself. <laughs> yeah. The Most clusters, the I mean, clusters you, pass on by. And... There are some times you just get into that that you, it's, not, it's unavoidable, not often, but not, often. not very often. Not often when you drive 60. No, no. But yeah. we're just trying to get home. Yeah. We're just uh, and it, and it's like so. I'm, we're doing 75, and of course all the cars want to do 80 because I guess they can do five miles over the speed limit. Up. It, it it doesn't say 75 plus five. <laughs> 75 or 80. <laughs> yeah, 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 take your pick. <laughs> the speed limit is 75. Yeah. And then they want to get mad at you when you're passing trucks that are going slower, but because you're not doing five over. Right. <laughs> and then they go, when you do get over and pass because you, you finally have an opening where there's no trucks up ahead, they come blowing by honking their horn. <laughs> <laughs> get mad at oh, you. Oh, yeah, gosh, it's so stressful. It is. I, would, I love my 62 miles an hour. I really do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're on the uh, the uh, 287 right now. <clears throat> Still uh, north of Wichita Falls, Texas. Wichita Falls, yeah. Uh, but yeah, man. Oh, that reefer's gone. Audio probably just improved by. <laughs> dude was yeah, yeah, I think he was like. regening his reefer or something. It got like really loud. Oh, do you loud. have to do that with reefers? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Yes. No, I think there's carb compliant reefers, but I have no clue. Yeah. No clue. But yeah, we should uh, be home tonight. Yeah. And yeah. Late tonight, midnight, 11, midnight. We're going to have a busy weekend of what we have to do, which you'll find out. No, you'll no, find no. Out let's talk about vlog. it. Let's talk about it a little bit. No, no. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Let, let's It'll just, be in this vlog. Let's just say we're moving everything out of the Airstream. Yeah. So... I mean, Into you don't have storage. to wait long. It's like the next clip. Like, yeah, it's going to be wait, the next like, clip. A minute. <laughs> <laughs> but we're packing everything up. Yeah, we are. We are. So you'll find out more tomorrow <laughs> in the next clip. Well, tomorrow Well, for tomorrow us. for us, next clip for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So but right. Jason just let these babies out. And like yep. I said, I'm going to take over so he can am relax the, a little bit. Am I the only one that inspects their dog's poop? Probably not. Probably not. I check it like out. It, every time they're pooping, I always walk over just to make sure they're pooping regularly yeah. like it's not runny or you yeah. know 
or black. Yeah, or, you can tell a lot by their health, by their yeah. looking at that. So well, they both poop. So <laughs> so they're, they'll be good for a few hours. They'll be good. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll check up with you guys later. Peace. <laughs>
trucks and RVs, it's just like moving from a house to another house. It's just crazy. But what I was saying, the good thing with that is each time we've like gotten rid of stuff that we don't need or aren't using. So until we accumulate more stuff while we're <laughs> we're trying to get better rat. at that. Pack I rat. do admit, I I yeah, I am pack a pack rat. rat. Oh my gosh. But I've gotten better. A little bit. Admit. A little bit better. Yeah, we're yeah. getting better. We're getting better. We're trying Each to become time. true minimalists. <laughs> trying. <laughs> yeah. We're, true minimalists would laugh at us. I know. I know. But we're <laughs> we're trying. We're trying. So, anyway, yeah, we're heading to in and out getting some lunch, and then we will see you guys at the Airstream. Ah, well, we are all done cleaning this beauty. She is ready for her next owner. Yep. Man, I'm going to miss it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm excited to just do what we do next. I really am. Yeah. Um, so it's funny. We went from a travel trailer to a fifth wheel because we thought we needed room. And we had this enormous fifth wheel with five slides, huge, just enormous fifth wheel. It was beautiful. It was pretty awesome, but we never went anywhere with it. No, we didn't take that on one trip at all. It never left Waco. Never left oh, Waco. No, I, I take that back. It went to Dallas one time. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, you know, we get, so we, that's why we downsized to the Airstream because we wanted something smaller, easier. And while it is smaller and easier, it, I mean, gosh, it's still as long as the fifth wheel was. Yeah, almost. Because, because of the bumper pole, at least half of, or a quarter of the fifth wheel was it over the bed of the truck so mm -hmm. it's smaller in the sense that it's lower but it was just as long so we're excited to go even smaller yeah, yeah. we will be going smaller a but y'all have to smaller. stay tuned it's gonna be probably a little while before we start that venture but. yeah so we've been over here a couple hours now we just got finished cleaning everything up and putting all the stuff in that came with it back in like the bedding and bedding yeah all the everything yeah all the pillows and like the decorative pillows that came with the airstream we took out and yeah. put our own stuff yeah in we had and, it in storage but so. yeah we stored it and so <sighs> yeah. we're putting all that stuff back in got it all vacuumed and sanitized didn't want to sell no covid19 or nothing <laughs> right. with the airstream <laughs> right so we we've uh, gone through this whole thing and clorox wiped and sanitized and just to make it perfect for the yeah. next people. Yeah. That's just that's just what we do. Yeah, I mean, that's even just with what our we trucks do. when we've moved out of trucks. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fine, yeah. detailed, and yeah. But yeah, um, this will be the probably the last video you see us in the airstream. The last in. video in there. I know some of you are, we well, we'll be delivering it. So yeah, I know some of you are probably shocked and probably like, why y'all haven't had it that long? And yeah. It's that's all true, but you know, we got to do what's best for us. And yeah, yeah. we loved the two years having the Airstream when we've gotten to use it. It's been awesome. You know, we don't have any complaints about it. We're yeah. not selling it because of any issues. Right. We're just, as our life has progressed, you know, we've come to learn what we want and what we don't want yeah. and how we want to live our lives. If so, if you watch any other RVers on YouTube or anything, you will see most of them change. Oh, yeah. I mean, they all change. You know, we used to watch so many people that were in Airstreams when we were wanting to get an Airstream. Yeah. And now they don't have Airstreams <laughs> no more. You yeah. know, it's like. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's nice to have. It's expensive. It is. It held its value. Yeah, definitely. That's you one know, we, great thing. When we sold our fifth wheel, we lost money. Yeah. We were smarter on this one when we financed it and we didn't do as long of a term. Mm -hmm. um, so we, you know, we kept, we didn't lose money in no. selling it. So. No, no, which is a good thing. And, yeah. you know, like Jason said, right now is a buyer's market. There's a lot of people getting into RVs with everything going on in the world, you know, wanting to travel and you know, so yep. it, it was just the right time. It's the right time for us to do this. And we're really excited for the next chapter, which hopefully y'all will be too once we let you know what that is. But and again, it, it'll be a little bit. Yeah. I think it's going to be really good for the new owners too. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. Really they're excited. really, really excited. We're just waiting for the title to get yeah, here. That's the last thing. So yeah, we got to wait for the title, which should be here within the next couple of weeks. And once that's here, we'll be signing her over and... 
That'll be it. That'll be it. <laughs> so we'll yep. be homeless again. We'll be homeless again, kind of. Yeah, because we, we, yeah, we have well, Mama we, Crafties. Yeah, yeah, we so. But yeah, technically, we we don't like to crowd her area too much. No, but. we don't. No, we don't. No, because she's got Scully and Dexter, and then of course our two. We it's that's too many animals in one apartment. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, guys, right. we, uh, we just wanted to kind of let you guys know what's going on, yeah, and yeah. we're not really sad to, to get rid of the Airstream. We're yeah, excited was, for the next chapter. It was enjoyable to own. Oh, yeah. I, I still love it. It but. held its value, which I'm super happy about, yep. you know. We didn't lose money on it, and we got to enjoy it for two years, and I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm ready to move on. Yeah, me too. Next oh. thing's going to be really cool. Yeah, it is. We keep teasing you guys. But, you know, <laughs> stay tuned. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this one here. We're going to stay in Waco the next couple of days because we do, if you've seen our 100K review on the, the work truck, we need to get an overhead done. So we are going to do that at the Freightliner here in Waco while we're here. Jason's going to do that tomorrow. Yep. And yeah, we'll take you along for next week and see what happens. See what happens. Yeah. So thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting.